Hi, welcome to another video. It's about a question that somebody asked on Discord. And uh, we've been looking at it a while already, but nobody really, uh, well, was worried anyway, because of the fact that this says 23 bonsai. And um, well, because of this question, we, we delved into the code, we looked in the code, and this has nothing to do with Arch Linux, this is NeoFetch. So NeoFetch is an, an, an script that runs, and um, yeah, it has been there for, for some time already. And the idea is, or the, the what I what did I discover, is that, um, is it Dylan, I think, uh, the developer anyway, from um, NeoFetch, gave a Linux operating system support. And the Linux operating system is called Bonsai. <laughs> and what happens, and that's so actually, I think that's a funny story. We have a beautiful little script that's called Bonsai. And you can keep running it and it's going to grow each time a tree, right? So if you run this thing, it's gonna grow each time a new tree. Now, the code that he uses, user bin neofetch, and that of course we have no control at all, also has somewhere in there bonsai. So he gave this distribution uh, support and it looks for the exact same word that we have to have a beautiful tree. That's why we have all of a sudden this word up here, bonsai. So how to fix it? Well, like always, update. So. People ask me all the time, Eric, uh, is there a GUI? Yeah, we have a GUI, it's called PAMIC AOR, that's there, okay? But I say, it's interesting and it's good, and you know the drill, you see, you can look at all things and you can investigate, etc., etc. But updating, hmm, I'd rather do this in a terminal and there's a reason for it. If I do update now, it's going to update Arco Linux and Arch Linux, not AOR. Just update means a lot of data because um, this is an old, well, older SSD. So this is the big bunch of data we just can't get in, got in, I mean, two, three days ago, something like that. So this is all normal. If you're new to Arch Linux, we don't, I mean, that's normal. Uh, we get a bunch of updates in, but finally, in the end, it's not that big of a change. We check out where's the numbers down here net upgrade 10 megabyte 10 megabyte it's nothing but in order to get to 10 megabyte in new is so in excess and a net upgrade size we do need to download a half um, megabyte right that's what i'm saying uh, gigabyte half gigabyte 500 megabyte extracted it's 2.1 gigabyte so it is it's big numbers but well um, I guess we're used to it to those updates those uh, quantities now when you update the system there will be of course um, important things in here last time I booted this thing up was November the 11th so four days ago so the big update has to be between the 11th and the 15th, right? So I do not believe there's a Linux kernel in there or is there? Yes, there is Linux image, it says here already. So if there are things that are essential for your system, like the Linux kernel, like systemd, the first thing you do is reboot, right? Sudo reboot, that's what you do. But in this case, um, I'm just gonna keep filming, of course. And the next thing I'll do is a update. If I, sorry, update has been done. Uh, up all means get now the rest and the rest will be AOR if there is anything as rest and there is. So there's an ether bin installed and an InSync, which I maintain by the way. So if InSync is not working, just um, flag it out of date on the PAMIC, uh, on the website of AOR. Arch Linux. So these guys will be installed. All right, fine. Get out of my site. Control T. It's still about this thing about bonsai. 
with Nate's FX. The fix is of course already installed, but it's in here somewhere up there, somewhere in this long list. And here it says ETC scale. Here is the fix. Here is another fix. ETC scale for root. So the bonsai thing is in here, but it's on your system, but not on your system. If you're new to Arco Linux, please look at the articles about SCAL, backup SCAL, CP, all things that are either very efficient or very frustrating. So you need to know what it does. It's an alias and the alias is there for us developers to have an easy way to get the data on our home directory and see if it works. But if that's not what you want, then you need to figure out another way. And they are all explained on articlenix.com. There is an article in there that says, um, Skell killed my settings or something, right? And then we give you an approach to tackle that. So how do we get rid of this bonsai? That's the video, the basic of uh, the basis or the essential part of this video. In super shift enter, in control H, we have an, a binary folder, a bin folder, where all the applications are. Anything you put in here and it's a script, it's gonna run. We can just go over somewhere over here, the path, and it's gonna be running from anywhere on the system. It's an application, it's available. You can just run it, arch, run it, right? Just stretch it a little bit and it becomes a little bit nicer. So all the stuff is here, but, and that's our problem. We've created a nice, beautiful script called Bonsai. And because of that fact, he gives us something called 24 Bonsai. So the only thing you need to do is actually delete this thing, right? And then everything will be fine. But of course, we don't want to lose our little bonsai tree. So what I've made, I've created or copy pasted this thing and recalled it bonsai tree. But it's still not on our system. So that's why we use this scale. When you do scale, you'll see, oh, everything from etc scale is now inside your home directory and also the bonsai tree. So when I type bonsai tree, I'll have my beautiful tree. And each time I get another tree. But the thing is, NeoFetch has not changed. Why? Because there's still the script bonsai. And I can't do that. You need to interact, you need to delete this thing. I will not delete stuff in your home directory. So delete the line, or well, the, the file, bonsai. And then we open up again a terminal and there you go the script from neofetch says oh I, i'm apparently not on the bonsai uh, distribution and we won't see anything here anymore that's the difference up here and up here all right that's what we wanted to explain let's include also a little tip here uh, you saw there's an other package i changed and what we do like to do is from time to time go inside um, well, important files. And there are some important files on our system. And they all start with nano. So the N nano, nano me the grub, nano me lightium, nano me etc. And I've added a new one. And that's the N nano mirror list. But it's not working yet. N mirror list. It's not working. How is it possible? Because you've done an ETC scale, right? Uh, sorry. You've done an ETC scale, which means this one, these two guys are important. This is the actual one that works. This is not working, but this is the actual last one. If you want to see what changes, what we improved, what has changed, you do a compare, which is a very important um, application, this compare. And this is what I missed. I just wanted to type, give me the mirror list. I want to see where else is this data coming from? I had so, such a very fast server and I wanted to know immediately where is this coming from? England, Germany, right? Give me the mirror list. And it's available, but it's not working. Now you can copy paste and do all these things, but why not be efficient and learn an alias? Copy my bash, please. CP, type in alias. 
and you'll see it you'll find it at the top, at the top because it's alphabetically this is CB don't need to read and all that that comes later CB type in your password enter and mirror list I'm getting my data from Germany mirrorpackagebuild.com that's why it's fast that's why it's slow it's come from the particular server and these things are just Arch Linux servers not Arch Linux we have our own servers okay that's it basically guys uh, it's solved it's a funny story really so NeoFetch created support for a distribution called Bonsai we have a Bonsai script so he thinks hey I'm on Bonsai we renamed Bonsai to Bonsai tree deleted our old Bonsai scripty and there you go it's all looking normal again all right enjoy